Uh, okay, man, I'm dying to know what your favorite mods are for the inside. Whoops. <laughs> of your FJ Cruiser. Here are my five favorite mods. Without a doubt, the mod that gets used the most and that I really enjoy the most are my USB chargers. I've got a dual port mounted on the left side of my steering wheel and I've got one in the console with all my other switches. Both of these are now hooked up directly to the battery. Fused, of course, but not through the ignition. I like this because that way at night when I'm out camping or overlanding, I can charge up everything and I don't need one of those stupid $1,500 jackeries. These are so easy to install. Even if you've never done electrical work on an automobile, it's easy to do. I'll have links in the description for these dual ports plus the Adafuse, which you just plug into your fuse box. I've read your comments, or should I say questions, regarding leaving this thing plugged into the battery 24-7. And I got news for you. It does not drain the battery. It pulls so little power for a little blue LED light, it's not even measurable. So don't worry about it. On the left of my steering wheel, my Garmin GPS stays plugged in and charged 24-7, 365. It frees up another spot directly below it on the dual charger where I can plug in my GoPro charger or run a long extension cord USB cable out the window on top of my mirror where I mount my GoPro for many of my videos. Then, of course, in the console, You've got the factory USB charger. You can leave your phone plugged into that and that leaves you two more spaces. One for your DJI drone, which you gotta have to be an overlander, and the other one for your GoPro batteries or your laptop or your iPad or whatever. If you have a partner who rides shotgun with you all the time, and their electronics needed charging too. You've got two more blank spaces in the console where you could add two more for a total of four more places to charge their electronics. It really is a cool modification. My newest modification are these Motor Trend seat covers. I gotta tell you how much surprised I am at how well I did end up liking these. I don't use the front pockets on them except for spare change, but they feel so much better than sitting on vinyl cloth. The look of them is much nicer. The feel of them, I don't know, it just feels like a microfiber leather. <laughs> That's what they call it. But they're protecting the seat corners or the FJ Cruiser has a propensity to tear on every FJ Cruiser. I really wish Motor Trend had a seat back that matched this that slipped over that looked as good and was as inexpensive. Did I say that these are like $35 for a pair? Pretty economical and very well worth it for your FJ Cruiser. Highly recommend you getting a pair of these. Hooks. I mean, who doesn't like hookers? Hookers are so much fun and everybody needs four or six of them. You can find these on Amazon and on AliExpress. They're basically moped, motorcycle, scooter, helmet hooks is the way they market them. But for me, they're FJ Cruiser hooks. I mean, I've never been to Japan, but I have no idea what those factory plastic things, I'm not even going to call them hooks, they're things, what they were used for. I tried using them for tie downs and bungees and bags just don't hold on them if you're trying to store trash back there. But these hooks, and they're available in like six different colors, are sturdy, 
They're strong and they allow you so much flexibility to do stuff with them. Even if it's just hanging the Walmart shopping bags to keep your trash in. Now, for what it's worth, you will need a little bit of a longer bolt to mount them on top of the existing plastic pieces of crap. And you may need to drill out the diameter of the hole on the hook to facilitate the longer bolt. Alright, this was one of my COVID mods. It was not one of my best mods, but it was really cheap. I think I'm totally all in for about $25 on this shelf. That's including the magnet and the plate and the hinge and the board and the 550 card that I'm using. It's very inexpensive very easy and you just got to get creative with what works for you there's no way i was about to spend four hundred dollars on an orange shelf for back here that's ridiculous this is basically a piano hinge from home cheapo with some wood screws and a magnet that i got off of amazon and one of those little plate things that goes on the back of your iPhone if you're using a magnet mount on your dash. Very easy, very creative, very cheap. The only thing I kind of wish is that the shelf was a little bit longer. During COVID, I, this was the only thing I was able to find. And it really does work. I never really need more room, although if I had it, I'm sure I would use it. I mean, who doesn't like fishnets, right? This is probably the only Toyota branded, you got to get this from the Steelership modification. But it's a fishnet storage system. You got to drill holes into the back of the thing and then push these push rivets in. Very easy install. Links will be in the description. But... This really allows you to keep the most used, most frequently accessed items in the back of your FJ. What do I keep in here? I've got my mosquito spray, a towel, 550 cord, a brush, and uh, my spork for when I'm eating quickly on the road, on rest stops. Or on the overlanding trail. I also have my Mora knife and a few other items which I can't recall at the moment. But as you can see, it does have a tendency to sag a little bit depending on the weight in there. And while filming this or taking the still pictures for this video, I came up with a cheap, efficient solution to fix the sag. All I did was put a prussic knot on some 550 cord and a little beaner at the bottom to hold up the top of the fishnet. Kind of like a garter. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you for today. Leave me a comment. Let me know what the five or however many you want to label, I don't care favorite mods are that you've done for the inside of your FJ Cruiser. I'm out of here. See ya.